Lions International Give Conclave. Generosity, impact, vision, empathy. In the heart of Mumbai at the prestigious Geo World Convention Center, history was made as the Give Conclave was inaugurated. An initiative by the Lions Council of India, the event served as a beacon illuminating the remarkable service activities undertaken by Lions clubs across the nation and their impactful partnerships with corporates and NGOs. Why did we organize this conclave? And the most important reason behind it is that uh, we are a humanitarian service club organization and services performed by our clubs by all our volunteers across the country. We have 8,500 clubs in India. Across the world, of course, we have 50,000 clubs. And uh, in these large meetings, the ordinary member, the regular member, I mean, it's the work of the regular member that brings value to the organization. That member has no place, that member has no voice. So we wanted to create an event where every member, every club that is actually serving can have a voice can share one story. Others can learn from their success stories. And there can be, you know, exchange of those ideas, thoughts, concepts, and ultimately we all become richer by it. We just need to create an ecosystem where we can give opportunities to the others. And that can happen through the participation of common individuals, a common indivi Indian participating in social development. And that is the trigger that we wish or events like this to provide. More than just an exhibition, the Give Conclave was a platform that resonated with purpose. A unique opportunity for CSR fund investors to navigate through a spectrum of successful service initiatives carefully curated by Lions clubs and other reputable organizations, each with a proven record of transparency and high quality service delivery. I did enjoy going through the various booths, meeting the Lions that I had not seen in years, and seeing how proud they are of their service to their community. Here I was visiting a local Lions club, and they had the most fantastic blood bank, and they were so proud of what they were doing. And then I went to eye hospitals that Lions Clubs International Foundation had been able to provide resources and funding and to see the cataract surgeries that were being done on a professional manner. Now this had gone from using a razor blade approach to professional interocular lens. First rate, the most fantastic opportunities for the people to receive proper medical care. And I would just wish that the people of the world could come and see what all is occurring here in India. It is phenomenal. The inaugural ceremony echoed with wisdom from distinguished speakers. International President Dr. Pati Hill, Second Vice President A.P. Singh and Veena Reddy, Director USAID, emphasized the pivotal role played by the non-government sector in community programs. The Lions have brought together this opportunity to showcase their social impact all across the country and invite others to come in and learn about what Lions Clubs are doing. This conclave showcases the opportunities that all of our partners and individuals across the country have to come and to support this uh, social philanthropy, to be involved in this through partnerships or through volunteering. Our volunteers provide service and support in every community where they live, work and play. And as a global organization, we support each other worldwide. Just to give you one snapshot, our Lions just here in India, in the last six months, have provided service to more than 150 million people. That's the impact of Lions Clubs locally, and like that, 
all around the world. We have missions in over 80 countries and programs in over 100. In India, uh, which is uh, one of our most amazing, innovative programs, we work in climate change. We look at clean energy solutions, uh, forestry, uh, biodiversity. We're also looking at systems in India that uh, we can work with the government, the private sector, civil society uh, to improve, scale up, uh, and also take lessons to other countries. India has 25% of the world's TB cases, but also is a place where we can find innovative solutions. These uh, Lions Club members have devoted their own time, their money, their expertise to meeting the nutritional needs of TB patients or uh, expanding their networks. So I think that events like this that bring local actors together to showcase what they're doing but also uh, learn from each other are really helpful in increasing the ecosystem for domestic uh, philanthropy, domestic support for these issues that can also have global impact. The projects, the activities and the service carried out by many Lions Clubs in India is unparalleled to none. I would say in many parts of this world, in many of the projects and activities that have been displayed at this Give Conclave. The needs are similar, but the ways of meeting these needs are different. In fact, for me personally, this has been the biggest learning experience at the Give Conclave that I can take back to Africa and share with my Lions of Africa. Everybody has a heart, and especially the Lions are an exemplary example where they have, a, they have a heart to go out there and serve the needs of those who need our help. And at the same time, they try and raise funds, they put hands into their own pockets to see how they can meet those needs. Over 200 stalls adorn the venue, each telling a unique story of projects aligned with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Lions clubs and NGO volunteers took center stage, passionately pitching their success stories, embodying the spirit of service. Till the age of 27, I was struggling for getting an artificial limb where this Lions Club of Mumbai Municipal Corporation, they have uh, supported me with the help of Jaipur Food BMBSS Mumbai where they sit in Kame Hospital. Well, after getting a limb, always from the childhood, I had the dream I want to go for a sports and adventure. But the limb gave me a new life with the help of Lions. And today, I'm a marathon runner. I'm a mountaineer. I play fencing for Paralympic. I'm a basketball, wheelchair basketball, Paralympic player. We are working on the, looking after the patients, destitutes, abundant patients, psychiatric persons, patients suffering from hemiplegia, paraplegia, quadriplegia, persons from psoas, spinal cord injury, and lunatic patients, psychiatric, who are roaming about on the streets. We are looking after them. And we have got uh, that 10 plus two school, for the weaker sections and then we have got school for the deaf children, we have got school for the special children and we have started uh, diploma courses of the special educator for the special children and for the disabled deaf children. The conclave wasn't just about exhibits, it was a hub of knowledge. Engaging seminars featured speakers from the corporate sector and renowned NGOs. Panel discussions explored crucial topics like funding opportunities, women empowerment, microfinance, diabetes awareness, hunger alleviation and environmental protection. Kidney disease patients load is huge in Bihar and the dialysis treatment facilities are very little. The dialysis treatment charges on an average in a private hospital costs around 3000 rupees per session, which is very little people they can afford to go for a, dial a regular dialysis treatment. So this facility is for those uh, 
under privileged people those who belong to different parts of bihar and specially to bring healthcare services to them to give them a better quality of life with more than 5000 attendees the conclave resonated with a collective commitment of change memorandums of understanding totaling over 6 crores were inked to support hospitals and schools by lions clubs additionally the generosity of the attendees shown through with over 1.5 crores donated for ongoing service initiatives As the curtains fell on the transformative day, the gift conclave stood as a testament to the power of collaboration, compassion, and commitment. The spirit of service echoed through the halls of Geo World Convention Center, leaving an indelible mark on the journey towards a better tomorrow. The Lions International Give Conclave Generosity Impact Vision Empathy The Lions International Give Conclave Generosity Impact Vision Empathy Welcome to this very special evening of felicitations at the Give Conclave today we are engaging in dialogues looking at some phenomenal work happening on ground and celebrating those who have created a legacy with their work and their mission may i first invite vice president ap singh for the welcome address this is the celebration of giving this is the celebration of service this is the celebration of what lions love to do of serving their communities selflessly this is celebration of that spirit of giving and here We have certain individuals with us 16 such individuals from our country who have led by example led by example in giving led by example in in making as i said life better in whichever corner of the earth god has placed us that's the unwritten commitment of every human being to leave to the next generation a world better than what we inherited we as lions take pride in doing it we are so grateful to Dr. Patty Hill President Lions Club International who's here with us this evening may i please invite her on stage for her address Lions Clubs International and our great foundation have always worked to make sure that our communities are improving it is our commitment to our society that we serve that means that we give We give of our time, we give of our talents, and we give of our treasury to make sure that our community and our world is lifted up, that the people among us are given the opportunities they need to fulfill their human potential. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Mr. Anand Rati, founder of Anand Rati. Our second change maker today is the chairman of Jain International Trade Organization Jito Mr Ganpatlal Chaudhary Whatever I am doing today in a various areas of the impacting the people or animals or cow shelter or whatever i am doing but the first seed i got it from lions our third recognition of the evening ladies and gentlemen comes for journalist and activist ms ruchira gupta founder of apne aap
It is also our pleasure and honor to have amongst us now Union Minister of State for Education, Dr. Subhash Sarkar. May I request Past Director Bishnu Bajoria to please felicitate uh, Mr. Minister on the stage, please. This expo is not just about recognizing achievements. It's about celebrating the collective effort of Lions Club, NGOs, and corporate sectors in making a positive difference in our communities. Please put your hands together for Mr. Jaspal Bindra, Chairman, Center Capital. recognition goes to Mr. Kartike Sarabhai, Founder, Director, Center for Environmental Education. And gentlemen, now put your hands together for Dr. G. N. Rao from L. V. Prasad Hospital. May I now invite LCIF Chairperson Brian Sheehan to address the audience, please? My father has always told me that when you get something, you always do not keep it. You give it away. And that has just set such a tone for what this organization does and has set a tone for what this Give Conclave has done. I want to thank the organizers for having a vision and thinking outside the box and being able to bring people together and to be able to share the passion the excitement, the energy that we saw the day was fabulous. Put your hands together for Ms. Shefali Goradia from Deloitte, South Asia, who's the next change maker on today's evening's list. Our next champion of change this evening is Chetan Mehrotra from Sarla Education Trust. Put your hands together. For Mr. P. S. Pasricha, former DGP Maharashtra. Our next change maker, Padma Shri, Dr. Nalli Kupuswami Chetty, running the iconic Nalli Saris. May I now please invite past international president, Mr. Frank Moore, to please address us all. One of the very first projects that I saw was a Lions Club that sponsored a blood bank. And you may say, well, 
Why was that so significant to me? Well, in my country, the blood bank is sponsored by the Red Cross and now maybe some hospitals. I had never imagined you, the Lions, a Lions Club, having a project of a blood bank. Put your hands together for Dr. Inderjeet Kaur, President All India Pingalwara Charitable Society. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together now for Dr. Nirja Arun Gupta, Vice Chancellor, Gujarat University. Our next awardee today is Mr. P. K. Lahiri, former Chief Secretary, Government of Gujarat. May I now invite past international president Naresh Agrawal ji to say a few words. It means you give a rupee and you get a million back, a million of rupees back. That is the giving, power of giving, the power of charity. And uh, I salute the champions of change, the champions of giving, the champions of motivation to the world and to our countrymen, and I'm very happy to compliment them, to congratulate them, to salute them. Our next champion of change, Mrs. Usha Agrawal, who has been working relentlessly for tribal upliftment and for giving children from the marginalized communities education and opportunities to fulfill their dreams. Our next change maker, Mr. Anjan Das Gupta, Chairman ASA International. Ladies and gentlemen, and the last award for this evening, put your hands together for Mr. Ravindra Chamaria, Vice Chairman, the Akshay Patra Foundation, India. That brings me to the end of this very lovely evening of celebrating our change makers. Lions International Give Conclave. Generosity, impact, vision, empathy.